Hello, welcome to this week's devlog video. I've taken another new approach this time, which is I just hit record on the screen capture software whenever I'm doing anything, and then I've slapped it all together at high speed, and that's what you're watching now. Uh, don't know about this way of doing things. It takes longer to edit. It's a bit of a pain to render the sped up footage. So the search continues for a better way of doing these videos. But anyway, what you can see right now is this uh, alphabet that I've been creating for the game. Uh, not a language, just a writing system. Uh, I've been toying with the idea of um, including some inscriptions in the environment, sort of um, inspired by these elaborate uh, Arabic uh, calligraphy um, that you can uh, you sometimes see uh, on on plaques on buildings above doors and things like that. I'll find an image that I can insert uh, like this. Both of these images uh, are from the Topkapi Palace in Istanbul. Probably pronounced that wrong. Um, so anyway, the the place in the game is is purely fictional, even though it's it's rooted in real world geography and history to some extent. So I wasn't sure that I wanted to use like copies of actual plaques or, or actual Arabic or anything. And like I'm pretty loath to start fiddling around with languages that I don't speak, I don't understand. And, you know, also a lot of this uh, Arabic, Islamic calligraphy is is gorgeous, amazing stuff, which I can't hope to come close to doing. So in the end, decided just to design it myself, I guess. I don't want to go whole hog and invent a whole language. Um, it's a bit too Tolkien for me. Um, but I've uh, designed a set of letters, an alphabet, and... Um, I hope that it is uh, it calls to mind the type of Arabic calligraphy that I'm uh, that I want to reference, and at the same time, I want the letter forms to appear somewhat sort of Greek influenced. Uh, you know, um, that's the idea. Um, hopefully, it looks also like it's like it's written with a with a pen or a quill, but that. Uh, it's developed from something which once was was carved. Well, that's sort of the idea. Um, I'm not going to go any further with it and work out a phonology or anything. That's totally outside the remit of the game. Um, but there are a few details about it. It's an abjad. It's, uh, you know, like uh, Hebrew or uh, Arabic originally, probably that it doesn't have any uh, vowel sounds in its in its character set, um, but these are then indicated with the the diacritic. It's got nineteen consonants and five uh, diacritics, and but the position of the diacritic above or the below the letter indicates something, um, you know, like roundedness of the vowels, let's say. Um, and yeah, that's, that's the, the lettering. And what you're watching now is, um, sort of the process of level design of what probably the most complex, uh, spatially, uh, part of the, the game. Um, so it's a, it's a process of sort of uh, going backwards and forwards between, um, Blender and Unity and uh, trying to get the, the proportions and things right before like finally doing the actual actual modeling. Uh, you see I work sort of uh, top down on a, on a plan of the, the building, of the space, and uh, then, then in Unity I, uh, I'm moving backwards and forwards, taking notes, which are why the, there are these pauses, and uh, working out changes and then going, going back and forth uh, to do that. Um, this is maybe like the the bit I enjoy most out of the whole process. Actually, uh, it's a relatively simple modeling task, um, which is helping kind of totally shape the uh, the world. That uh, I'm building lots of decisions to make about uh, you know both uh, how does it feel to be here, uh, what what happens if I change the proportions of of this doorway or that alcove or whatever. And also sort of um, 
I guess the slightly lesser concerns of you know what does this represent in the real world? Uh, what is this? Uh, what's the function of this this bit of architecture? Uh, that kind of thing. So uh, it's sort of a process I I really enjoy, and um, that's that's pretty much it for this week. I'd say. Um, thank you very much. Doodaloo.